Hey guys, so I'm busy editing the next episode of Something Old, Something New, and those seem to take a little while. So uh, just to make sure I had some good content going, um, I've actually had a lot of people ask me about cool games and stuff I have or, or stuff I've been getting. So I kind of thought I'd just kind of do a recap for, uh, for the month, because um, I go to a lot of yard sales and stuff, I always find weird cool deals. So uh, this is kind of like the gaming stuff I've gotten recently. So uh, today we have a uh, Brady, my other dog on the couch. He actually doesn't really like gaming. That's why he's not in the logo. But we have Pippin too. He's sleeping back there. So anyway, I'm just kind of gonna kind of show off some neat stuff I've gotten from uh, from yard sales or friends or just all sorts of weird places. So the the you've already seen these if you've been watching my videos. Um, well, you've seen all of them except for this one. But uh, just a small little recap, you know, I got The Messenger on Switch, a physical copy, really cool get, uh, Astral Chain. Uh, I've actually almost beaten this game now, and um, my review, I'm in the same spot. I think it is just as good as uh, I thought it was going to be, if not better. <laughs> so that's been awesome. Uh, also, that limited run copy of uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, um, like I said earlier, uh, the Metal Wolf Chaos physical copy from, <laughs> I guess something startled Pippin, from uh, uh, GameStop. And uh, last but not least, uh, I have a video coming out on this probably next week, probably next week. Um, and that is the physical copy of the collection of mana. And this has actually been really awesome as well. Um, very cool if you're, if you're into the old mana series, it's a must have. Anyway, on to uh, the other weird stuff I've gotten. Uh, this isn't really a video game per se, but my mom was up here for the uh, Renaissance Fair. And uh, you've, you've seen it if you watch the Monster Hunter video, but I have my <laughs> a wooden buster sword. Um, I got this and some armor from the fair. Uh, it's really cool. Um, probably could use another coat of paint just to kind of get rid of the rid, rid of the wood grain rid of the wood grain say that five times fast but it has a leather wrap on the handle it's just pretty cool it's a neat little thing it's uh obviously not as big as the real one but i mean what could be <laughs> um but yeah that's kind of a neat thing i got um so i don't have many amiibos but the ones I do like to collect are ones that like from games I like, like a Ryu, a Sonic. But I also have like all of the Zelda ones. Not the weird like obscure ones, you know, like the monsters and stuff. But you know, all the links from the games that I played. And when I saw this come out, um, I had to get it. It's the Young Link, like the Ocarina of Time one. Uh, they had it um, actually at a local... Uh, um, GameStop, uh, but not local close to me is actually a good friend of mine from work ended up picking it up for me. So thanks James. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, I had all the other ones back there and I was like, yeah, I gotta get this one. <laughs> so ended up scoop, scooping this guy up. Uh, pretty cool little thing. Um, now we're going to go into like stuff that I couldn't get just at a store. Um, there is an eBay seller that I won't name because it's my secret seller who has uh, like weird figures and they are very cheap and they can go up by pennies. I mean, the, the, the chances of you winning them uh, at a low price is pretty good. I mean, sometimes if someone else finds them, you're gonna be haggling it out. I don't have many figures to be honest in, in my entire game room collection. I don't have many. But once in a while, I'll see something that'll have a dollar, dollar fifteen on it. And I'll, you know, I'll throw five bucks and see if I win. And I actually won two things back to back, both below five dollars, uh, below ten with shipping from Japan. Uh, the first one, I'm a huge Dot Hack fan, and uh, <laughs> got this little guy um, from uh, from Dot Hack. Um, the bottom of the staff's missing. That's kind of a bummer, but I mean, I think I won this for uh, it was like a dollar seventy. And he falls over. It's like a dollar seventy, uh, with like three dollars shipping or something. In fact, I'd actually forgot I won it until the other thing that I'm about to show you came in at the same time. They both, I guess, you shipped them both together. Um, I was bidding on the other one more seriously, and then I saw this one. I feel like a dollar something on it, and uh, 
and won them both at the same time. Totally forgot about this, but it's cool. Um, I, like I said, I have a huge dot .hack uh, uh, kind of area of a shelf up there, and this guy's going with it. Um, but the real prize was this. Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest, wherever you're from, statue. Uh, pretty cool, pretty big. Um, I won this thing for like five bucks, and it was like three dollars shipping, and I was like, that is dope. Uh, really cool get. Um, really glad I got it, actually. Like I said, uh, you know, those little secret eBay stores, they're nice to have in your back pocket. But it's a really cool thing. Actually, I have it on a shelf over here next to a slime controller. Um, so it's really cool. Uh, so this next thing, super lucky yard sale find. I, I'm, when it comes to Pokemon, uh, I, uh, played blue and yellow. Uh, blue is what I started off with. Um, yellow is, you know, everyone got yellow. Uh, and I actually kind of tapered off after that, um, for no particular reason. Uh, just, you know, all my other friends kept playing them and I didn't jump back in until they remade blue and, and red with fire red and leaf green. Um, but I do, I did, I do know that they're, they're worth collecting and they're valuable. Um, I went to a yard sale and just one thing you should always do, just a personal uh, advice for me. If you go, if you're a yard sale guy, girl, uh, go to a yard sale and just ask, hey, you got any video games? You know, even if they don't have it out, maybe they will. Maybe, oh, you know, I got something in the house. Um, and that's actually going to come up a little bit later too, because another deal I have over here uh, came from a lot of stuff I got from a yard sale. But so I was at a yard sale, uh, they had a bunch of stuff out, uh, this lady was trying to get some stuff out, and um, I asked, hey, do you have any video games? And she said, oh, uh, you know, uh, my son has some old stuff inside in a box. So we go through, we dig through a bunch of, like every Call of Duty there ever was, every Madden there's ever been. Um, but then I saw this, and it's complete, 100% complete in the box. And um, I didn't know what the value was at the time, but I asked her, hey, how much? Five dollars. Five dollars, complete in box, Pokemon Soul Silver. It has the Poke Walker in it. Um, I mean, it had everything in it. And you know, for five bucks, I was like, yes, here, you know, <laughs> please. And um, in fact, I, <laughs> I think I was digging through my wallet and I pulled out my ones. I only had four ones. And she was like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, sweet. So this was a cool get, um, yeah. So and then I, of course, I looked it up uh, when I got, you know, somewhere with a, away from from all that, and uh, looked it up on eBay sold prices, and I was like, well, okay, that was a good, uh, that was a good one, <laughs> to get. So it was a really cool, really cool find. Um, this is something I've actually been kind of wanting for a while. Saw it online. Uh, didn't realize that. It was a very reasonable price, and that is the soundtrack to Legend of Dragoon. Um, I don't know if you like the Legend of Dragoon as much as I do, but uh, this is one of the one of the first RPGs um, on the PlayStation that I really got into. Everyone else was playing Final Fantasy VII, and I ended up getting Legend of Dragoon, and this was this was my Final Fantasy VII. So when I saw the soundtrack available, and it was very, very cheap. I'm, I'm like 15 bucks, I think. And this is, I haven't even opened it yet. I mean, I just, just pretty new. So um, yeah, when I saw this, uh, definitely a cool thing, cool thing to get. Um, this next thing is awesome. This is a gift from my good friend in Texas, uh, Matt. Uh, so we used to go to game conventions all the time together. He actually uh, buys a bunch of stuff all year round. Um, at, at, uh, at yard sales and, and thrift stores and what have you and he'll go as a vendor and sell a bunch of stuff and you know so he gets to meet people and and go there at different times but he just mailed this to me um you've probably seen it in the background of a couple of my videos and uh you'll actually probably see a little close-up well you'll see a close-up now but you'll see a close-up in the something old something new that i'm making but it's a copy of Nintendo Power, you know, no big deal, uh, you know, Power Blade, whatever. But the cool thing is, is if you look at it, it's actually signed by Captain Nintendo. Like, the Captain Nintendo came and spoke at, uh, at this convention he went to, and he had it signed to me from him. Um, yeah, it is the coolest thing. When I got this in the mail, I was like, holy crap, like, Matt, you're the man. <laughs> like, that's so cool. 
So I'm um, actually I'm currently gonna get it like a little frame for it. I think it, it, it deserves a frame. It's a uh, super awesome Let me move that over here somewhere safe Now here's two more games I picked up um, I may or may not do a video on on One of them really the whole company, but uh, just uh, some stuff that came in um, Onanaki physical copy um, you had to import this uh, it's in English of course but had to get it from uh, play Asia uh, cool website um, very reasonable they don't jack up the price they just you just have to pay the shipping uh, and of course you know they're not sold out um, so this is really cool this is a cool I loved the demo um, so I was really happy to get this um, can't wait to jump back into it once I finish astral chain and some other stuff uh, and then now uh, this game I bought, I'm a huge Tetris fan, huge, huge Tetris fan, um, and they made the physical copy of Tetris 99. I wasn't going to buy it, um, actually, because it's free, if you don't know, but they do have the extra modes, and you can just buy those, but I have a really good friend of mine who um, currently didn't have the online service. I saw that this came with the online service for a year for free with a code in it, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and buy this game and then I, so that's what I did I bought this game I got the code I gave it to him so now he can experience Super Nintendo for the first time so uh, yeah it, it was worth it for me you know like I said I, I have friends who I have friends who give me cool stuff all the time <laughs> you know so I can you know I, I gotta I gotta help out my, my homies once in a while too um, so anyway that's that but now the big the big things so I kind of said earlier about going to yard sales and finding stuff. So um, I would have more to show uh, because recently I went to a yard sale and um, you know I asked uh, the the lady, "Hey, do you have any video games?" And she came out with a bag of of like DS games and Game Boy games and a and a Game Boy DS. And she went five bucks for the whole thing. So I got that. And then this other yard sale I went to, I was like, "Hey, you know, do you have anything?" And uh, this lady had a PlayStation One no cords, and two Super Nintendo controllers. And she's like, I don't think these controllers go to this. And I was like, mm, they don't. But uh, once again, that was like, I think 20 bucks for that. And the reason I bought that is because it came with a stack of games, one of which was Silent Hill 1. I was like, well, cool, I don't have that game, it's awesome. But I don't have that stack of stuff anymore because along with a little bit of cash and that, I actually traded with a new friend of mine, um, I'm not gonna say exactly how much cash and all, because it was, you know, we, we worked it out. But I am so happy to have these in my collection, both complete. Um, and that is Tales of Destiny 1 and 2. Uh, these are some of, if you don't know, these are some of the rarest, most expensive PlayStation games. Probably in my collection now. PS1. Uh, probably in my collection now, but I mean, it's all here. Tales of Destiny 2, all three discs in the manual. Um, the case was a little cracked on my Tales of Destiny 1 that I ended up getting, so I swapped it out with uh, Metal Gear Solid or something like that. Uh, which is weird, it's one of those things where they have the they have the 4 case, but it's only one disc. I, <laughs> I don't know why they did that. But um, man, I'm so happy to have these. These are like heavy hitters, heavy hitters. Nice to, to knock stuff off the list of stuff like I want, you know. When will I get to it? I don't know. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have them now, so I can check them out. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's pretty much it uh, for stuff I've gotten recently. Uh, I might do these videos sporadically, uh, especially if I, you know, need uh, more time to edit stuff, because these are easy. Um, but uh, yeah, if you uh, if you like these kind of videos, let me know um, in the comments, and I'll uh, you know I'll, I'll keep making them. Um, if you want to see my game room and stuff, let me know. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll make some videos on that. Uh, other than that, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't, uh, ring the bell uh, to keep notified. Um, if you know anything about any of these games or been playing any of these games, you know, these Tales games, I've always heard they were great, but I really don't know much about them. I mean, I've played uh, Tales of Symphonia, so I know it's the same world. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments, and uh, once again, thanks for stopping by. Take it easy.